Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 28 in chapter 23. Chapter 23 is about electric potentials. So there we have a point charge, Q, and it carries negative charge. And we have two positions, A and B. So we need to determine the potential difference and the electric field difference between the position A and B, right? So first one, we look at this is a point charge. So the potential for point charge is given in our test book. You just use the charge over 4 pi epsilon naught times the distance, right? So if this is position B, so VB equal to this function, the VA equal to this function. And then, as we know, electric potential is a scalar. So if you want to find the difference VB over VA, you just input VB, VA, the magnitude inside. And input the known quantity, you get answers there. The next part is to find the difference between the electric field at B and at the position B and at the position A. As we know, the electric potential electric field is a vector. So that means because this point charge carry negative charge. So that means electric field will pointing inward to it, right? So EA pointing uh, vertically down and E B pointing horizontally to the uh, right. And then we can write the E B and E A in this function. This is the function for point charge. So you can see as we say E A is uh, just a negative joy, right? And E B is just uh, at the I component. Then the vector addition for this two uh sorry. Then we need to follow the electric field and the difference. So we uh, use the vector operations. So we get the final electric field in this uh, functions. It is a vector has two components, S component and a Y component. Input all the given quantity, you get the answer there, right? This answer is in the vector format. Then you can find its magnitude and uh, the angle in this uh, function. Thank you.